Yo, what's good, everyone? Back here with another episode of Taking Over Doc's channel and another episode of Hey Sub bringing some Unmon. This time, the Unmon is Corfish on his side. We do see a nice Fungus as well. We don't see a Mianfu, which is uh, a bit scary. <laughs> Imagine not bringing Mianfu, could not be me. Now, looking at Hey Sub's team, it's probably just going to be a lot of standard boys. Um, a team preview doesn't really work in this tier because, like, everything just runs like standard shit. It just runs like Barry just a Revival on every single Pokemon. Now, Trash's team is pretty cool as well. It has that nice Ghastly. Uh, Ghastly Abra Diglett core, which is a really nice offensive core. Then it has some defensive presence in the form of Ferris Seed, which can set up spikes as well. Plus these two nice juicy boys. Uh, only one U-Turner, which, I mean, that's, I don't know, I like, I like some more, I like double U-Turn plus, um, plus Gastra, but one, one U-Turner works just as fine, especially if it's the best U-Turn in the tier. So, looking at my man Corfish, Corfish can actually do some work this game with Aqua Jet, but he needs to weaken the Ferris Seed first. Uh, but if that's Magnet Pull Magnemite, that's going to be very easy for him to just remove that eventually. And then Corfish is actually looking like it has a great matchup. Now, the fighting types lead off against each other because this is LC, you already see fighting types on the screen at turn one. That's just a guarantee. Now, Trash is going to fire off a fake out if he has that. Now, um, Hasop either just pulls it back to Fungus, not wanting to let this get knocked, or pulls up a double knockoff. The double knockoff could really help Hasop in uh, sweeping with Corefish later, because removing the survival is pretty big for him. So I think if you're Hasop, you definitely knock off. And if you're actually, he drain punches here, um, which uh, I don't know what he's trying to catch there. I think knockoff was always the play. Don't really see what drain punch does that knockoff doesn't. I guess you get some HP back for free, and now you knock off on the on the predicted switch to Spritzy, because I don't think. Actually, Trash can just HJK and do a shit ton. I was going to say you knock off on the predicted switch to Spritzy, but Trash can actually just do a shit ton of damage with HJK here. So Timber is low, but Mianfu is also low. Uh, not low enough to be in range of Mach Punch, though, as far as I know. Um, even though it doesn't have a Violet, I don't think that's Mach Punch range, even if it's Iron Fist Timber. Uh, Mianfu is pretty fat, and Trash can just has a free switch into Spritzy here, or just has a free HJK, both work. The problem is that Hasep can just go Fungus on the HJK, so... Um, if Trash is some wildling, he just hits that uh, knockoff because Fungus is the midground. It covers me and for staying in and going for high jump kick, and it also covers the Spritzy. Um, so if Trash is some wildling, he actually goes for the knockoff. But yeah, oh, he actually goes for the U-turn, which yeah just works as well because it covers the uh, yeah U-turn is actually better midground than knockoff. As the Mach Punch comes out and chips me and for even lower. So like I already said, just getting rid of this things of eye and putting it really low is really nice for Corefish in the end game. The problem is he can't really sweep with uh, a potential Focus Ash Ghastly on Trash's side, so that's definitely something he needs to watch out for. If he could remove that item, that would be huge. Now, unfortunately, he does not have the best Ghastly switchins in. <laughs> he does not have the best gas Ghastly switchins. Why do I keep butchering that name? at all especially if it's life orb it just kind of goes in on his team there's no real resist to that he can go volibee here but uh volibee needs to be the volibee needs to be watching out for a super effective attack like the um so yeah he definitely needs to watch out for that because if it's life orb, that's gonna do a shit ton he also needs to watch out for potential z farium as ghastly just fires off a life orb hidden power now i don't know what hidden power that could be that you would fire it off there the only quad effective move uh, i see is hidden power ground potentially um, Hidden Power Ground Gas could actually be quite cool. I don't know, it's kind of an unset, but I guess it could be quite cool with the hit Magnemites. Though, obviously, Magnemites are not the best Ghastly answers in the game, but if they're Sturdy Juice, they can take it on pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, Hasep's Magnemites obviously not Sturdy Juice, otherwise it would have come in on the Ghastly right here. Uh, Magnapool makes a lot more sense, just a, yeah, just a, just some Magnapool boy, just to trap the Pharisee. Now, the problem is still that, where are the Ghastly answers? If he has Scarf Velibi, he can switch that in, but even then, that's just gonna get shut down by Spritzy. If he has, um, I guess Fungus eats an attack, but just gets subbed on if the Ghastly does have sub. Corefish does a shit ton with Aqua Jet, but just dies him on, I think, to uh, to T-Bolt. So, I actually don't know if it dies him on a T-Bolt, but it's going to take a shit ton. And Corefish is the win condition here, so you definitely don't want to let that get weakened. I guess Mudbray, if it's a Violet, can snack up any hit. Um, but I don't even know what that's going to be able to do back, because the best move you can have is Heavy Slam. I don't even know if that one-shots Ghastly. I know Ghastly's a bit frail, but yeah, I don't know this head calc. Um... But yeah, if, if Hyper Slam kills, which is, uh, I assume, what Hesup's calcing right now, or he's calcing something with Magnemite, maybe, um, then Mudbray is the play. Otherwise, you can go to Scarf Magnemite if you if that's the Scarf, which would make the most sense. Now, Mudbray comes in. Heavy Slam is very likely. And Trash could go into um, could go into Ferrisseed, but Ferrisseed actually does not beat Mudbray 1v1, especially not if the Mudbray has close combat, but even with Earthquake. Um, because of Mudbray's ability, Stamina, if you Bullet Seed the... Uh, if you bullet seed the Mudbray, you're just going to stack the fence boost, and eventually your bullet seed's only going to be do one, doing one damage. And you don't really want that. Uh, obviously, you can still get revenge by a potential uh, Psychic or even Energy Ball if he packs that tech on the Abra. But, um, 
yeah, you don't you don't really want that getting out of hand. So the better play here is to knock off if you're trash. If you even want this Pharisee getting weakened, weakened, which again is pretty bad because of the core fish in the back. Um, yeah, this is this getting weakened is good for haste up. Um, just this barrage is going away. Rocks uh, is a nice play. Just get up the rocks here. Now we just hit a knockoff or a spike, I guess. Spike could have been fine as well. Now um, haste up can just kill this Pharisee off, and that's going to be huge for core fish in the back. Trash can preserve this if he wants to. Um, if he wants to, he can, I guess, because, like, if he, if he goes just hard gas, that would be a fire play, because without the Avialad, I think Mudbrite dies in one, because it's not that bulky. Actually, don't know, maybe if it's spit out, Mudbrite actually eats Shadow Ball. In that case, yeah, even if it has a chance to eat Shadow Ball, it's not worth the risk. If you're haste up, I think you just hit EQ here. You can also hit something else, I guess. I guess you can hit, like, Heavy Slam, predicting the ghastly to come out, but that's just gonna bite you in the ass if the first seed stays in because you're gonna take so much damage. Oh yeah, you can get up your own rocks as well. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't I don't know why I didn't realize that was a play, yeah. Uh nice idiot seal not <laughs> realizing that getting up your own rocks is the play there because it covers everything. Yep. And now you just EQ finish off the Ferris seed. Yep. Alright, that's nice. I don't know why I didn't even think about that. <laughs> nice <laughs> nice noob seal. Uh should get kicked off the channel for sure. Now trash can just go hard out into either ghastly or abra. Both would work. Um yeah, I think those are the options here. Um, yeah, Abra I think is fine. Like, yeah, both are fine. Both are just going to kill this. I guess you don't want to take life or plus rocks damage on your Abra. Or on your Ghastly. I mean, Abra doesn't take any damage. So that's the better option. Now, Hasep's counters to this are very low. He can just go Magnemite and scare this out. Because you don't want this Abra's Sash going away. Because in that case, you're really weak to... Uh, I guess you just kind of lose the Core Fish. Then again, Trash does not have switch into this at all. A Kamianfu has been knocked off and is very low. I think it just dies to Flash Cannon. Everything just dies to Flash Cannon. As Haste Up actually goes for Volt Switch, which is a play I cannot get behind at all. Unless it's... If it's not Scarf, I... M m no. <laughs> just no, I still can't get behind that. Um, I know it's not analytic, but yeah, like, even if it's not Scarf, I still can't get behind not, not clicking Flash Cannon there. I guess you would... Um, I guess you Volt Switch predicting this Abra to stay in, but I don't know why you would ever, if you're trash, stay in with Abra, and then just try try to lose the core fish in the back. Um, so yeah, staying in with Abra is kind of an unplay, like, obviously clicking protect is fine, but staying in with Abra and doing anything outside of protecting, attacking this Magnemite, it's kind of an unplay, because then you're so, so weak to core fish. I know this is all spritzy, but if that is a Z core fish, like, spritzy is not surviving a plus two hit from that, plus two Z move from that. That boy spritzy is going to topple over, the rest is just going to topple over to Aqua Jet, so, um, yeah, you definitely don't want to sack that Abra's item. So, here Trash can go into... Um, I guess Mianfu doesn't do too much, but I don't know if you want to fodder it off here. Because um, I guess you can I guess you can find out what the set is. Because, like, uh, if the Magmite stays in on the Mianfu, right? If it hits Volt Switch, it just gets out, which is unfortunate, yeah. I don't know, you can go Mianfu here to sack it off. Or you go Hard Dig it like a Wild Man. Um, that's, a, that's a really wild play, but I guess it does make sense, because... Uh, yeah, I guess it just does make sense in case it's Scarf and he decides to Volt Switch. But yeah, the Fungus comes out on the Diglett, which is nice for Haste Up. Now you can just fire off a Free Spore and put someone to bed night, night time. If Trash makes a God play here, he just sacks Mianfu too. I mean, it's not really a God play. <laughs> it's a good play though. Sack Mianfu to sleep. But I think Mianfu might be in range of Sludge Bomb after Rocks. Especially, he's definitely in range of Sludge Bomb plus Sludge Bomb Poison after Rocks. Because it's really low and no of Iolite. So you definitely don't say with Diglett here, the Fungus has not been knocked off. You don't do too much with Ground Z. I guess you can chip it, but what, what's really the point? Diglett still puts in some work and trap the Magamite. Can force it to not click Volt Switch. Although, it doesn't need to click Volt Switch at all. Because um, especially if it's Scar Flash Cannon, just still goes in as fuck. That's why I don't really get why he didn't click Flash Cannon. If, like, it, it kind of tells me he's not Scarf, right? Because if you're Scarf, why not click Flash Cannon? Um, because, yeah, it's, as we can see, the Mianfu yeah, tries to, try to sack the Mianfu to sleep. And Haysup predicts that and goes for the attack and move. Gigadrain actually kills, which is kind of surprising, but I guess Fungus is not weak at all. Fungus can still pack a punch with uh, with his attack, so... Yeah, and Aviolite, no Aviolite Mianfu, I mean, is not that strong, or not that fat either. Now Trash can just go to... Um, actually, I don't even know if Abra Psychic... Abra Psychic doesn't always one-shot, right? Like, unless I'm, unless I'm fucking up the head calc. I don't think Abra Psychic always one-shots Fungus. Uh, if you're Focus Sash, but yeah, if I'm, if I'm fucking up that head calc, head calc, I might have to redo this video, because then I feel like a complete noob. But yeah, this is what I know, I'm not obviously not going to calc in these videos, I'm just going to, like, narrate as far as I see, yeah. As that does not kill, as we can tell, because the Ghastly comes out here. Now, this Ghastly, uh, it's already been revealed, Life Orb. 
this can just sub up on Fungus for free if it has that. Fungus cannot break that shit unless it's like HP Psychic, which is kind of an unmove to be honest. It, it's cool for Ghastly and Girl Gunk, but outside of that, it's a fat unmove. Um, and hey, so looking at his team, where's the switch ins? I cannot find any. Um, <laughs> like at all. He can just sack something. He can sack like Vullaby maybe, and then just get get his kill with uh, get his kill with his man Magnemite. Because Magnemite actually just like Magnemite into Corefish can actually just, if it's Scarf that is can still easily win this game. But because of his, how we played this earlier. I don't know if it's Scarf, or he just didn't want to risk the Magnemite, which makes sense, but... Um, I actually don't know what said it could be, because Scarf is the most common. Uh, and if you're... If you're... A Violite, you can eat any attack from Abra, so there's no reason not to Flash Cannon. So I actually don't know. Yeah, I just I still think it's Scarf. Now looking at this, Hayusub does not have switch into this, like I already said. Trash is just going to click an attacking move, most definitely. Or just going to click Sub into an attacking move on whatever comes out. Uh, you can also click hard attacking move, but that's I don't, that's just no real point. It's just a risk for no reason. I guess you get like 25 extra HP on Ghastly, which I actually just clicks hard attacking move, and let's see, does he get punished for that? Um, he probably doesn't have sub, because otherwise you definitely click it there. As Haysup just decides to stay in with Fungus. Which I do not know if I agree with that, because if this had sub, it could have just subbed up for free. For absolute free, and Haysup could not break that shit. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I agree with Hayseb's play there, because if if that sub came out from Chash's Ghastly, like, what was Hayseb even going to do about that? Like, break break the sub and then just, like, like break the sub with, like, Corefish and then kill with Magnemite or the other way around? Or maybe eat a hit with Volibee as, like, a Violite? But, yeah, I don't know what... Like, obviously it worked. Like, it worked. <laughs> we can all see that. But I don't know if I agree with that play, um... If he like, has the team or something, which <laughs> he obviously doesn't because it's a tour. Like, nobody uses known teams. Uh, at least that's what I assume. So, I don't know what that is. Like, I know sub isn't, like, on every set. As we can see, it wasn't on this one. But, um, yeah, I, you still have to... You still have to, uh... Like, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, what I'm trying to say is you still have to s scout for uh, scout for sub. That's why I think Vullaby was the play there, but... Alright, the play worked. Now the Magnemite comes in on the Spritz. He trash tries to double it in on the... Uh, what I assume to be Vullaby. But that play backfires. And now uh, Trash can just protect up to scout with his Magnemite. Potentially locks himself out into. With, uh, the only play here is Flash Cannon, if you're Scarf. But... Um, yeah, the only play is Flash Cannon. But... Yeah, he, he can just protect, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's like... Or he just stacks hard ghastly. Yeah, protecting just wastes... Wastes turns, wastes time, whatever. Um, Ghastly just gets hard sacked. Now Diglett comes out, but, um, this Diglett is not Scarf, right? I guess. Yeah, the Diglett kills the Magnemite, but, um, there's no other Z mover on Trash's side, so, I don't know if this Diglett was Scarf, which would make sense, because the team is really Magnemite weak. Like, the team gets shredded by Magnemite, especially if after Mianfu gets knocked. So, like, the way, like, the confident way he brought Diglett in, um, I guess he had to hope for it, because even, like, if... Uh, if Trash brought in Abra, right, and it was Scarf, it was Scarf Magnemite, his Sash would have gotten broken, and then, like, he just loses the Corefish. Uh, Abra and Diglett died at Jet, and Spritz, he just dies to Z, or just the dies to, just gets smacked up by Crab Hammer. So, I guess he had to hope for the Magnemite not being Scarf, if he wasn't Scarf, but, yeah, I, I don't know the sets, obviously, but, yeah, I still don't, still don't know the set. Like, D Z Diglett would make the most sense, because he doesn't have another Z mover. Uh, the Ghastly was Life Orb. This is most yeah. This is definitely like none of these other Pokemon can even run Z, uh, can even run Z viably. So I would assume this Diglett was um, like it, it. It makes the most sense for it to be Z, but I guess it could also be could also be Scarf to help out with Magnemite because the team is Magnemite weak. So um, we see the S2 chat being uh, talking about Taste's game. So we see the EQ come out from the Diglett as it's Berry Juice Corfish, the God set, the God. Ooh, that's a King set right there. Uh, we see. We see uh, that it's confirmed Scarf uh, by the EQ coming out and not the Z ground. So it's confirmed Scarf. Hasep, um knows it. Hasep obviously knew it was Scarf because his mag his own Magnemite was Scarf. Otherwise, you don't click SD there. And now the Abra's thing, it just gets popped. But um, actually, Abra's thing is going to get popped here. Yeah, there's no other play outside of just popping Abra's Sash with uh, Aqua Jet here. Abra, sh I don't know if Abra one-shots Corefish. Um... Especially not if it's sa like it, like it has to be Sash to eat this Aqua Jet. So, um, I don't know if it one shots Corefish. It definitely does with like Energy Ball, but I don't know if it does with Psychic. Um, as Volibee, as Hayseb just goes hard into Volibee. 
Uh, this man does not give a fuck. This man goes hard volley to U-turn, which is, a, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty fire play, actually. Works out perfectly. Um, now he can just get to fire fire off a free-ass U-turn. If, uh, yeah, he just fired, gets to fire off a free-ass U-turn. If Trash goes into, if Trash stays into Dazzling Gleam, Volibee can snack that up, U-turn out. If Trash goes into Spritzy, you can just send my man Fungus out, get a free sport, put someone to bed, and then, um, actually... Or just go Corefish on that. I actually don't know about that because I don't know if you have to go Fungus or Corefish there on the... I think both can work in their own way, but I don't know the exact calcs. Because it's it's not Z-Move Corefish, so I don't know if it beats Spritzy reliably. We're going to see Spritzy. We're going to see a knockoff, which does make some... It's Berry Juice Spritzy, so that's like the this is like the new tech, like Berry Juice, Nasty Plot, Draining Kiss, or whatever. I don't like that set too much. I think Draining Kiss is way too weak. But it can definitely do some work. I assume that's like the only... That's the only Berry Juice Spritzy I know, so... Yeah, that does carry Psychic, so Fungus just dies. Now we're going to see my man, uh, Corefish hit the field. Kill this with a Crab Hammer, then break the Abris. Actually, I think he needs to go... What he needs to do is he needs to go... Vullab if he's Juice Vullaby, he needs to go Vullaby. Then Corefish to eat a hit. Then kill the Spritzy, and uh, then just go into his Vullaby on the Abris. Because otherwise he doesn't have the HP to eat a hit. So yeah, I kind of misnarrated there. So he needs to go Vullaby first, like I said. Then go Corefish on the... Uh, he, this probably doesn't even have Moonblast, so there's no way he has anything to kill him. Now, if Trash is... Uh, or he just hard Brave Birds to put him... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never mind, what was I saying? He just Brave Birds to put him... Yeah, I forgot about Brave Bird Recoil. He doesn't even need to make the, the Corefish play. He can just Brave Bird to put himself in Barry Juice range. Yep. Um, I was thinking a bit too complex. Now you snack up a hit. Easy breakfast as the knockoff comes out onto the Sash. So, if he just doesn't clean this earlier, this would have just toppled over, but, you know, haste up, coming in clutch with this Corefish, gonna get this kill, and this is the game. So, Corefish is actually putting in some work, that one's definitely hitting the thumbnail, <laughs> at least, like, the like the Mon didn't put in too much work, but there's the threat of my man Corefish in the back. Now, um, coming back on the turn where, um, just coming back on the turn where, um, where hates up hit Voltswitch instead of Flash Cannon, I still think that's a misplay. I think Flash Cannon was always the play there, because uh, yeah, because of the reason that I already stated. You don't like Trash does not want to let his Sash get broken with Abra. So now that that's confirmed, Scarf Magnemite. I definitely disagree with that play. But outside of that, well played by both sides. It's definitely an interesting game. Uh, definitely an interesting game to watch with some nice offensive presence from Trash and some nice some nice bulky boys from Hayes up. Hayes up playing this uh, outside of that one turn, playing this really well, playing to win with his man Corfish. Uh, Corfish in the end didn't get too many kills, just snatched up. My man Abra, I think I think that's the only kill it got, right? Abra. Oh no, it killed um, it killed thing as well. It killed the Diglett as well. It only got two kills. But yeah, outside of that, very nice game. Hope you subscribe to my man Dockridge because he needs that. Uh, he needs that YouTube money because otherwise um, his parents are just gonna kick him out. He's just not making enough money for the family. And Doc devotes all of his time into YouTube. He does not have any job, and he doesn't want to get put on the streets. So he would appreciate it a lot. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just making up some bullshit as we go. Hope you guys have a nice day.